First scoop that was issued by the Oshu State Government and then the most recently one by the Federal Government. And of course, these are all portraying and showing to the society that Islam is a complete way of life. So, now, just quickly on the Kafi. When I now decided to study Islamic finance, everywhere you go, all the research is on biking, biking, biking. But then, the bank cannot be sustainable and cannot go without the insurance, or the capital in this case. Because insurance is the backbone of any economic system. It gives that support. So, unfortunately for us in this part of the world, we don't have that risk management culture. And this is where we have to start from. We all believe by the need by our culture. We only manage risks when it happens. That is when we think of what to do. And because maybe we've always been having our way out, whilst you have a problem, you call this uncle, you call that dad, and you, your problems are solved. We are very comfortable with that. But is that how we should be? These are all the issues, and this is where now and their prosperity and their poverty. Whatever it should the part of these five serves public interest and is desirable. That is a quote from Umar and Chabra. So, what are we saying? Insurance or takaful is basically an arrangement that also contributes to ensuring that business ventures, economic activities are sustainable. So, Basically, takaful is an Arabic word from the verb kafala, guarantee. So takaful, mutual guarantee. And it operates on two principles of tabaru and ta'awu. Tabaru is donation and ta'awu is mutual guarantee. So unlike the conventional insurance, where it's capitalist in nature and practice, the Islamic insurance is a brotherhood activity where people come together to protect themselves, to contribute, so that in the event any member suffers any um, any uh, challenge, he will be compensated according to the terms and condition. So insurance basically is risk management arrangement, and takaful is also trying to now delete all the objectionable element of the conventional insurance to make it Sharia compliant. Islam is not against the practice of insurance or risk management, but rather Islam is against the way the conventional uh, insurance is being practiced. And what are the key elements there? We have presence of uh, riba interest, and then we have on, uh, uncertainty, maizir, and then the gambling element. So these are the three key elements that makes the conventional insurance on Islamic or not Sharia compliant. So of course for Riba, you will not have to involve yourself in anything uh, interest-based uh, transaction. Then for the for the uncertainty just run the slide so that for the uncertainty because the contract of insurance is on buying and selling. You go and buy a policy. So what are you going to buy? Promises. What are the insurance companies selling to you? Promises. So that is where the uncertainty element comes in. You are buying what you don't know. And of course, one of the Sharia principles, legal matters, is that you, the object of sale must be known. But in this transaction, the object of sale is not known. So that is where the uncertainty element comes in. You go to buy a policy of 50,000, if there's a claim you have been paid 1 million, if there's no claim your 50,000 is gone. So that is where the myself or the gambling element sets in also. So these are many other issues. There are so many technical issues, but for the purpose of this discussion, what I'm just trying to say is Alhamdulillah, we have Takafu, we have Islamic financial institutions at the moment, 
some of the universities are offering Islamic uh, finance uh, courses from postgraduate diploma, from diploma, postgraduate diploma, up to master's uh, degree. So, alhamdulillah, this is an avenue where the Muslim Ummah now, if we have been lagging behind because we don't want to patronize the conventional and interest-based financial instrument and system, now we have an alternative. And we all have to key in to be able to benefit from the good, uh, uh, the good things there. I know there are challenges, but then, inshallah, we will get over it. They said, practice makes perfect. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. But I want to ask, you know, when you are mentoring students, and you are telling them to study this, everybody wants to study medicine now. Anyway, but if you are telling them you want to study this, you want to study that, you must tell them the job opportunities. So if you are encouraging Islamic finance, I'm asking, I don't know, is it, do we have job opportunities there, or we are just doing it for another sake? One. And two, Islamic insurance and finance. I don't know. Maybe, are they the same? I, I had a little research on it, but I don't know whether they are the same, whether you're talking about the same And finally, if I want to study this life and ask me for another sake, and not for employment sake, or not for job opportunities, and, and I want to study at diploma level, or at master's level, should I, must I be in science class, or commercial class, or arts class, just to, uh, just to broaden my knowledge more about Islamic finance, so that in the next or the nearest future, we have more dealings, we'll be able to collect loans, for business and make more money. So that we have a TV station on GSTV as well. Can we study that? The first one, the opportunity. In life, whatever you are doing, you have to look at. When I started, let me give myself as a history. When I started it in the 90s or early 2000s, there wasn't any Islamic financial institution. And here we are today. So you see that this is what. So you don't have to, they say preparation meet opportunity meets preparation. You don't have to wait until the opportunity comes before you start preparing on how to get it. So you have to know this, this is what. Then secondly, on the issue of the job opportunities, like I said, I mentioned we have Jai's Bank is there. We're expecting another bank that will central bank any moment from now on will license. And definitely they need this human capital. In the past, we we'll have to go out to employ foreign uh, expatriate to come and do it. So now, if we are prepared for it, we don't have to do that any longer. Then also, not only that, I discussed about, I mentioned we have two full-fledged Chakafu companies. That is the Jai Chakafu and also the Noor Chakafu. And we have about three windows. Cornerstone Chakafu, African Alliance Chakafu, and Niger Chakafu. Uh, and there are nothing less than three to five applications with the regulator there also. So the opportunities are there. We just have to prepare ourselves ahead. Then of course, if you want to study, it doesn't matter. This is a professional field. You can go by every university, the Pioneer University in Nigeria that started diploma, PGD, and masters in Islamic finance. So it is there, you can look at it. 